It's the third Thursday of the month, month, which means hundreds of patrons explore downtown Toledo for Art Loop. This month, the Toledo Walleye got in on the excitement, painting a vehicle in what else? Fort Wayne colors ahead of their home opening weekend. Why would the fish comet fly anything? BCSN's Claire Dow has the answer. Oh, I've only been here for like a week, but uh, I've played in both Toledo and Fort Wayne, and they're both great hockey markets, and I know it's a big rivalry, so it's going to be exciting. The Walleye have some extracurricular activities planned for this year's home opener against Fort Wayne. What we're going to do is we're going to make a little van uh, for the Comets, but fans of the Walleye get to come out, uh, pay a couple bucks, and take a swing at the van to show them how we feel about them. It's always fun to put a little bit of chaos behind your art, and this is definitely a good blend between the two. Earlier this evening, area artist Tony Touch painted the van with a little help from current players in Comet colors. On Sunday, November 3rd, fans can pay $10 to smash the vehicle with a sledgehammer. It's amazing. Um, simply, we, like I said, we are a hockey family, so I was looking for any way to show my help. And well, sure, we're painting some enemy colors on it, but anything helps. <laughs> crazy you really you don't get this everywhere on the east coast and Toledo's definitely a great spot great fans and I'm excited to play here it kind of just adds to the to the rivalry and um, you know fans take pride in in the rivalry just as much as we do so it's kind of cool to get them involved as well and it's all for a great cause as voted on by the fanatics it's all for charity uh, all the proceeds will go to canine care and control uh, also known as LC4 uh, so it should be a fun event not only for uh, to see but also to help some dogs in need really amazing because they support us so much. We get donations and money and things every single day. People just want to come down and hang out with them. Um, they're sharing our posts on social media, trying to get these friends adapted. And it's really, really amazing. And it's like really heartwarming to know that everyone loves them as much as we do. The Crush the Car action gets rolling at 4 o'clock on Sunday, November 3rd at the Huntington Center. With the Walleye, Claire Dow, BCSN. Such a great cause. Another pit stop on tonight's art loop, the life-size spike bobblehead. Crafted by graphite design and build, you can see the finished product on Saturday, November 2nd, when the walleye return to the Huntington Center.